we are covering PL300 Power Microsoft Power BI Data Analyst. Our team is working hard to keep the content up to date. If you find this video helpful, please let us know in the comments. We really appreciate if you like and subscribe to our channel. To get the complete list of questions and answers, click on the playlist link provided in the description. Our question is, you have an Azure SQL database that contains transactions. A database is updated frequently. You need to generate reports from the data to detect fraudulent transactions. The data must be visible within five minutes of an op of an update. How should you configure the data connection? Option A, add the SQL statement. Option B, set the command timeout in minute settings. Option C, set data connectivity mode to import. Option D, set data connectivity mode to direct query. The correct answer is option D. Next one. You have a folder that contains 100 CSV files. You need to make the file metadata available as a single data set by using Power BI. The solution must not store the data of the CSV file. Which three actions should you perform in the sequence to answer move the appropriate actions from the list of action to the answer area and arrange them in the correct order kindly see the given list of actions Now this is the correct answer. The first one is from Power BI desktop, select get data and then select folder. Second from the Power Query Editor, expand the attributes column. Third from the Power Query Editor, combine the content column. Next one. The business intelligence developer creates the data flow in the Power BI and uses direct query to access tables from an on-premises Microsoft SQL server. The enhanced data flows computes engine is turned on the data flow. You need to use the data flow in a report. The solution must meet the following requirements. Minimize online processing operations, minimize calculation time and render times for visuals, include data from the current year up to and including the previous year. What should you do? Option A, create a data flows connection that has the direct query mode selected. Option B, create a data flows connection that has the direct query mode selected and configure a gateway connection for the data set. Option C, create a data flows connection that has import mode selected and schedule a daily fresh. Option D, create a data flows connection that has the import mode selected and create the Microsoft Power Automate solution to refresh the data early. The correct answer is option C. Next one, 
you publish the data set that contains data from an on-premises Microsoft SQL Server database. The data set must be refreshed daily. You need to ensure that Power BI service can connect to the database and refresh the data set. Which four actions should you perform in sequence? To answer, move the appropriate action from the list of action to the answer area and arrange them in the correct order. See the given list of actions. Now, this is the correct answer. The first step is configure an on-premises data gateway. Second is add a data source. Third, add the data set owner to the data source. And fourth, configure a scheduled refresh. Next one. You attempt to connect Power BI Desktop to the Cassandra database. From the Get Data Connector list, you discover that there is no specific connector for the Cassandra database. You need to select an alternate data connector that will connect to the database. Which type of connector should you choose? Option A, Microsoft SQL Server Database. Option B, OB, ODBC. Option C, OLE, DB. Option D, ODATA. The correct answer is option B, 